Morning, I'm Tom Elliott. It's Thursday 20th of January and here's my market report. Well, the uh, major share market indices had a strong afternoon yesterday. A couple of reasons, resource stocks were up. Also, retail stocks put in a surprisingly strong performance. The reason for that was uh, specialty retailer Kathmandu said that the uh, six months to the end of January, sales were forecast to be between 16 and 18% higher than the previous year. Been a lot of doom and gloom about retail recently, and Kathmandu shares uh, shot up from $1.38 to $1.61 where they are today. Now, this morning the market is back about half a percent. Probably the main reason is that, uh, well, there's two reasons really. Overnight, Goldman Sachs reported a profit forecast lower than expected. As a result, this morning, Macquarie Bank, which is our locally listed investment bank, is weaker, and the major trading banks also down a bit too. Although that also probably has a fair bit to do with the floods because the issue of mortgage delinquencies, which Dad and I have touched on before, is going to become pretty important for some of the banks, in particular Bank of Queensland and, of course, Suncorp, because they have a lot more exposure in the, uh, in the northeast than the other big banks do. But the other big issue overnight, the Singapore government's investment arm, which is an entity called Temasek, it owned around 4.5% of iron ore miner Fortescue Group, Fortescue Metals, and it decided overnight to sell that stake completely. So there was a big, big book build. Uh, the stock was sold at around about a 5% discount to its price. As a result, this morning it has fallen. People are wondering, you know, as Temasek lost faith, for example, in iron ore, and it's taken with it the share prices of both Rio and BHP, which of course are the two world's biggest iron ore miners. So if Rio and BHP and the banks are going down, it's very, very hard for the overall market to go up. And I, I think we're starting to see a, a return to the type of daily volatility that we saw last year. You know, up half a percent one day, down half a percent the next. Uh, I don't believe the world economy is out of the woods. The Australian dollar briefly went through parity early this morning. Uh, it was 1.0008 cents at one stage. It's now slipping back currently around 99.6 cents. Again, my forecast for this year, and I'll probably get hanged for doing this because you should never give accurate forecasts a year out, but I actually think the A dollar is going to be around 10% weaker um, by the end of the year. So. Banks have got plenty of headwinds in terms of mortgage delinquencies caused by the floods. However, I think Temasek selling out of the iron ore stocks is not such a big issue. Rio just reported a record quarter of iron ore production. The Chinese are still buying, their economy is still expanding, and that should be good for resource stocks over the coming weeks and months.